happy Friday, and welcome back to the Friday Funnies. I hope you enjoyed President's Day this week. You know, Bernie Sanders enjoyed it so much that he said he's going to run for president again in 2020. Now, if the final election comes down to Bernie or Trump, this, my friends, is a sign of the apocalypse. The Academy Awards will be presented on Sunday night, and normally they'd be hosted by a witty MC. But this year, after a political correctness emergency, they decided not to use an MC. And this, my friends, is not good. MCing is a big part of my business. And while I'm a little ticked off at the Academy for not even calling me to offer me the gig, I fear that if they can pull this off, other shows might see if they can get by without an MC. And this whole thing could just turn out like my blockbuster video franchise. Any far, as far as who wins the awards, who cares, really? How is a, an award given to a wealthy actor going to change my life? It, it's not. Perhaps a multitude of commercials surrounding the award presentation might change my life, especially the ones with the uh, medications, uh, for the medications, I should say, with a plethora of side effects. But the, the uh, giving of awards means nothing to me. Maybe, maybe if they added a swimsuit competition, but that's very unlikely. What's more likely is you having a couple of laughs here with this week's Friday Funnies. Stephen Shrout is a 25-year-old man from Arlington, Texas. And even though he's never played fantasy football before, he joined a league with his friends who have been playing together since 2009. Obviously, Stephen didn't know what the heck he was doing, wound up coming in last in the league, and there was a penalty involved. Stephen was told that he could either pay $250 to the winner or perform a humiliating stunt. So, guess which one he picked? The penalty prank involved Stephen standing in a Dallas dog park for 10 minutes, wearing only a Speedo and being covered head to toe with peanut butter. You know, he, he hoped nobody would see him, but the video has gone viral. He survived the mass licking, but I wonder what's going to happen the next time he goes to the ballpark, huh? Will the dogs recognize him and say, hey, hey, look, Peanut Butter Boy is back. Police were called to a Home Depot store in Wichita, Kansas, when a bomb threat was reported. A customer report reportedly made a comment in the store saying, You should all leave because I'm fixing to blow it up. Well, the shocked shoppers just started scurrying. What they didn't know is that this Nimrod was not armed, but he was crudely expressing his upcoming voluminous defecation. He was going to go boom boom in the bathroom. The police found the man and charged him with communicating false information of a planned arson. And the EPA is now talking to him about his emissions. The Coopertown, Tennessee Police Department is looking for volunteers to spend the day drinking to excess. The police will then use the inebriated volunteers to help their officers make better decisions during uh, traffic stops and DUI checkpoints. And I'm thinking, really? You need a class to tell you if somebody's been drinking all day? You would think the, the drooling and the slurring and the faraway look would have been clues, but they, uh, the department said they will provide for free. They will provide the drinks and the transportation for the volunteers. There is currently a line to sign up. It's three miles long. <laughs> hey, that's it for another week, my friends. Thanks for watching the Friday Funnies. Check out my new podcast. It's aimed at baby boomers, and it's called Another Day Above Ground. And you can find it at Another Day Above Ground on iTunes. Other than that, pass these funnies along. I'll see you back here next Friday.